Hello, and thanks for purchasing the LDG Electronics AT100 Pro 100 Watt Automatic Antenna Tuner. The AT100 Pro is one of LDG's most feature packed tuners, so this video series will help you get the most out of everything the AT100 Pro has to offer. Before we show you how to install and use the AT100 Pro, let's take a brief tour of the AT100 Pro's features. The AT100 Pro front panel features two LED bar graph displays that show power and SWR levels, as well as report the operating status of the AT100 Pro. Seven front panel buttons allow you to control the functions of the AT100 Pro. On the rear panel, the TX SO239 connects to your radio, and there are two antenna jacks. The AT100 Pro has a built-in two-port antenna switch. Here's the DC input jack, and this jack provides integration with ICOM and Yaesu radios. Now we'll take a look at how to install the AT100 Pro. Installation is quick and easy. First, turn off your radio. Next, connect a coaxial cable jumper from the antenna jack on the radio to the TX jack on the AT100 Pro. If your radio has more than one antenna jack, connect the coaxial cable to the antenna 1 jack. Connect your primary antenna's coaxial feed line to the antenna 1 jack on the back of the AT100 Pro. If you have a second antenna, you may connect its feed line co jack. LDG recommends that you also connect your AT100 Pro to station ground using the provided wing nut marked ground shown here. Connect the supplied DC coax plug to the DC power jack and connect to a 12 volt DC supply. The center pin is positive. We'll show you how to hook up the ICOM and Yaesu interface cables in a later video in this series. We're now ready to begin using the AT100 Pro. Turn on your radio. Select an operating frequency and mode. If your transmitter does not have an SWR rollback circuit, turn down the transmit power to 25 watts or less. Press the antenna button to make sure you're transmitting on the desired antenna. The LED display points to the selected antenna. Next, press the funk button followed by the C down or auto button to make sure the tuner is in full automatic mode. The LEDs will blink like this to indicate full auto. If not, press funk and see down again. Now that the tuner is in full automatic mode and the desired antenna is selected, simply transmit and if the SWR is too high, the AT100 Pro will automatically begin tuning. On sideband and AM modes, keep talking while tuning. Continue transmitting until the tuning cycle is done. The LEDs will indicate a match. If you had previously reduced your transmit power, you may now restore it to its previous level. The first time you tune on a particular frequency, it may take a few seconds to find a match. After that, the next time you tune on that same frequency, the AT100 Pro will recall the tuning settings from memory instantly is the basic installation and operation of the AT100 Pro. Stay tuned for advanced operations and interfacing to ICOM and Yaesu radios. Hello and thanks for purchasing the LDG Electronics AT100 Pro. The AT100 Pro is one of LDG's most feature packed tuners. In part one of this video series we looked at installation and basic operation of the AT100 Pro. In this part we'll go over some of the more advanced operations. As you recall from the first video, fully automatic tuning is very simple. Just transmit and the AT100 Pro tunes. 
There are times when you may not want this behavior. To switch to semi-automatic mode, press Funk and then C down. The LEDs will flash in the outer corners of the display to indicate semi-automatic mode. Press Funk and C down again to toggle back to fully automatic mode, and so forth. In semi-automatic mode, tuning will not occur unless specifically requested. To force a full tuning cycle, press and hold the Tune button for more than two and a half seconds while transmitting a carrier. Keep transmitting until the tuning cycle is complete. To tune from memory, press and hold the Tune button for one second while transmitting a carrier. You can see that for a memory tune, recall from memory is almost instantaneous. Note that when initiating a memory tune, if no match is found in memory, a full tuning cycle will then be requested and stored. To compare the performance of your antenna with and without the AT100 Pro's match, press the tune button momentarily to enter bypass mode. Press tune momentarily again to return to active mode. In fully automatic mode, the AT100 Pro automatically begins tuning whenever the SWR exceeds a certain threshold. This threshold is user settable. To set the SWR tuning threshold, press Funk and L down repeatedly until the desired threshold is shown on the display. In this example, the AT100 Pro will now begin tuning whenever the SWR exceeds 1.3 to 1. While transmitting through the AT100 Pro, the upper bar graph display shows the RF power. By default, average power is displayed. On voice modes like single sideband and AM, it may be more useful to display peak power. CQ field day, CQ field day. To toggle between average and peak, press Funk and then C up. The falling LED display indicates peak mode is selected. Now when you transmit, a peak indicator shows the peak power. CQ field day, CQ field day. If you know you will be transmitting less than 12 and a half watts, press Funk and then L up to toggle the watt meter scale. On the low power setting, the watt meter reads 0 to 12 and a half watts. Press Funk L up again to return to the 125 watt scale. In most cases, the AT100 Pro tunes with a final SWR match close to 1.1 to 1. In some rare cases, it may be desired to manually touch up the final tuning. For this, press the C up, C down, L up, or L down buttons to increase or decrease capacitance or inductance. Holding any of these buttons will cause the button to repeat quickly. Similarly, the AT100 Pro automatically chooses whether to match for high impedance or low impedance antennas. To make this choice manually, press Funk and then Ant to toggle between high and low impedance settings. When you are satisfied with your manual settings, press Funk and then Tune to store the settings in a memory associated with the current operating frequency. This completes our video on advanced operations. Stay tuned for how to interface to ICOM and Yaesu radios. Hello once again. We've already shown you the installation, basic, and advanced operations with the LDG Electronics AT100 Pro tuner. In this final video in the series, we look at using the AT100 Pro with ICOM and Yaesu radios when using the provided ICOM or Yaesu radio interface cables. First, let's look at using the included ICOM radio interface cable. The ICOM interface cable has a 4-pin connector on the radio end of the cable and splits out into a DC power connector and a control connector on the tuner end of the cable. When using the ICOM interface cable, the AT100 Pro is powered directly from the ICOM radio. To install the ICOM interface cable, first turn off the radio. Plug the 4-pin connector into the tuner jack on the back of the radio. Next, plug the DC power connector into the jack marked 12-volt DC 
on the rear of the tuner. Plug the 8th inch stereo plug into the jack marked radio. If you're using an IC718, you'll need to set it for AH4 operation. With the interface cable installed, tuning is greatly simplified. With the ICOM interface, two options are available for tuning. The first is to press and hold the tuner call button on the radio for one second to begin tuning. The radio automatically transmits a carrier for as long as is required to complete the tuning cycle. Notice that the tune LED on the radio lights up when a successful tune is complete. To bypass the tuner, press the tuner call button momentarily. The other option is to use the tune button on the AT100 Pro. Press the tune button for one second to initiate a memory tuning sequence. The control cable tells the radio to transmit a tuning carrier for the duration of the tuning cycle. Holding the tune button for more than two and a half seconds will force a full tuning cycle. Pressing tune momentarily will toggle bypass. The Yesu interface cable is a short 8th inch cable with a red connector on the radio end and a black connector on the tuner end. This cable works with FT-857 and 897 radios. To install the cable, first turn off the radio. Plug the red radio end of the cable into the ACC jack on the rear of the radio. Plug the black tuner end of the cable into the jack marked radio on the rear of the AT100 Pro. To tune using the Yesu interface cable, press the tune button on the AT100 Pro for one second to initiate a memory tuning sequence. The cable tells the radio to transmit a tuning carrier until the tuning cycle is complete. Holding the tune button for more than two and a half seconds will force a full tuning cycle. Pressing tune momentarily will toggle bypass. This concludes the AT100 Pro video instruction series. Please be sure to read your entire printed AT100 Pro user manual to get the most out of your new AT100 Pro automatic antenna tuner. Thank you.